Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the second video of Saturday, and should you hoard your 7 star shards? I've had this question pointed to me for several times, it's a regular thing that people are asking me, should you hoard your 7 star shards? Look, you could be in a position, we'll kind of look at both kind of arguments for it, for me personally, I mean, the nutshell of this, I say no, I say just go and get the 7 stars open now, you could wait a little while, but we'll kind of dissect that particular, these particular points, but look, look in a nutshell, if you just want to know like a straight answer like look get seven stars open now if you've got them available because here's the thing this pool is not going to be expanded for a little while but there is some merit to kind of go okay how long can you hold out for until the pool is updated and the titan crystal has been released those are going to be some uh, some key things uh, right there so let's begin let's get into the video for the people interested in more of a, a longer answer to that particular explanation and stuff like that so as you can see right now i am close to my next seven star hero crystal which hopefully will be my fourth champion God only knows if that's going to be a thing. And also, uh, we have got um, the uh, seven-star Titan Crystal, which I have 600 shards. Jealous? Uh, you shouldn't be, because at the end of the day, picking up a dupe, a seven-star dupe, is not ideal when you want to get the shooting star quest done and dusted. Look, it is what it is. But on the point of seven stars and seven star shards, they are looking like they're becoming more available. Now, I don't know if Kabam are kind of pushing towards like releasing starage versions of characters and champions a lot more frequently. When I say frequently, I mean like instead of it being, I don't know, four years since the last kind of six star addition six to be an addition and you know we've we've kind of like waiting like small amount of years like in the next two years it could be eight stars i'm not to say that is the case or isn't the case it just kind of feels that maybe there's that kind of jostling for position to then have okay well they're the next chase thing you can spend your money on and stuff like that um but the point to get to is weirdly seven star shards have become more prevalent and they're being more available to you than you might think now the more that you look at it, like I think before getting a six star took a long time to even get one formed. And yeah, okay, like most kind of like new star edges to the game, as the years went on, you can get them more, more frequently and such like and, and stuff like that. But there is a lot more seven stars that are creeping into content, whether or not it's side quest, whether or not it's battlegrounds and battlegrounds, first of all, has um, for the... Um, for the solo event and uh, the finishing rank, you do get yourself a, a nice chunk of uh, seven star shards. Not a ridiculous amount, but still in comparison to how it was very early on when six stars went in, like the shard kind of payout since what, it's like a month since we had this uh, re properly release is still pretty good. It's still pretty good because you could just like, you know, completely flop in a season and still pick up some seven star shards. And also in the Battleground store, at some point we're going to see it, I don't know when, uh, and as Kabam have said that, um, that first of all Gladiator Circuit gets a chunk of the uh, seven star shards, not again, not a huge amount, but they get some, but the store, the store is going to receive uh, some additional uh, additional items uh, seven star shards wise and look is it going to be a huge amount no of course it's not going to be a huge amount this is just how it normally is but there are going to be more areas available to get seven star shards and funnily enough here's the thing you could do less effort and find yourself picking up the side quest amount i mean look again debatable on that one but i i think that if we're looking at this from a realistic point of view seeing two thousand seven star hero crystal shards in side quests is a pretty big deal. I think it's a pretty big deal because we don't even have that in our uh, current Thronebreaker difficulty, which gives me the idea that we're going to have at some point a Paragon difficulty. Why do I think that? I just think it's going to be a thing. Like you look at it this way and looking at Thronebreaker, I've had people say like my kind of like comments and even live chat like, well, Thronebreaker is easy to them. So fair play if that's kind of like the uh, the way the way of kind of like thinking of this, and maybe that, maybe that is the case. Maybe there's people out there that are now looking at well, I got seven stars, got rank five, six stars. I can now breeze through Thronebreaker, even though it's you know it's very grindy um, the event quest. Uh, but here's the thing: like they are still managing to get through it and they're being able to get through it at ease. So I think that we are having on the um, the the future. We'll probably see a Paragon difficulty. Just because seven star shards will probably be the new meta in thrusting into this. 
but that's just the thing. That's the, that's that is the, that is the future. But back to the point: should you hoard your seven star shards? And I think for this again, it just it's what I reiterated before. It's like, what is the current meta at the moment? And that is seven stars. Seven stars are the meta. So you look at your roster and you kind of go, okay, well, I have like. <laughs> You want to get more seven stars. That's that's the th that's the thing. You want to go out there and get more seven stars. Kabam encourage it. Like if you don't know already, Kabam encourage you to be to open your seven stars. And if you're a, if you're well, then of course you've been able to achieve uh, the shooting star quest. If you're free to play, it's honestly it's highly unlikely. It's somewhat unlikely that you would have either. I'd say more than five or more than six. If you push if you had seven or even eight of the seven stars, unless you opened up a bunch of Paragon Crystals and got lucky. In which case, I am jealous of you, because uh, I opened up uh, a load of them and I didn't get anything seven star-ish. Some people got lots of stuff. But yeah, if you're a whale, or, you know, then you've been able to access 100% the shooting star quest. But I think it's, it's, kind of, it's a no-brainer at this point. You want to expand your roster, so go do it. And that's really it. When it comes to saving for the future... The pool. Command make no announcements as to when they're going to update the pool. Even if you kind of go to the announcement for this, like they mentioned about the Titan Titan Shard pool, um, and how that would work, which is something that's available in later 2023, and as well, uh, champions not in the seven star basic pool, will, base pool will be put in there. And command don't really say when they're going to update the base pool, so that's really the thing as well, like. That becomes a that becomes a problem. With the introduction of Titan Crystals, you'll never need to decide which crystal to spend your shards on because they are completely separate. The Titan Pool will allow you to better target specific champions, a, a specific champion, while assuring that you aren't going to pull the same champion that you already have from the base pool. So that's good. Like that that kind of eliminates any kind of like need to hoard your seven star shards. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna open what you're gonna open. You'll get the dupe, and the dupe um, shard will be the Titan Pool Crystal Shard. And at the same time, like, yeah, you, you just want to increase in, um, your roster. So it's kind of a no, I'd say at the moment, it's without the pool being expanded, you could be holding on to, I don't know, 100,000 100, seven star crystal shards before the new seven star pool is released. So yeah, um, I think we'll just kind of like end on that particular point is, yes, there's some merit to hoarding the uh, seven star shards, but I just, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any need for you to do it. So I would say open as many as possible and then look towards the next three months. If we haven't had a pool update in three months, then it'll probably be six months. So you can either say, right, well, I'll start hoarding my seven star shards for a pool update in, I don't know, three to, to six months time but it's just so it's so difficult to think how Kabam are going to approach this but uh, yeah that's just my kind of like feeling on it uh, for those that have asked me about holding your seven star shards at the moment I don't see any need to do it because Kabam haven't given an indication of how frequently they're going to update that pool so you might as well just get some uh, amazing seven stars add them to your roster and then um, you know make them Make them rank two seven stars. You know, why not? That that would be kind of like a cool thing to do. In any case, that's been the video. And uh, hit the like button. Subscribe with post notifications on all. Um, I'm currently working now and trying to apply for jobs. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and think about some better ideas for content next week. And also kind of like, you know, grab some of the ideas that you've sent me to kind of like uh, go over and uh, put together some cool videos. And obviously the MCN and news-based videos will come out whenever. Uh, have a lovely weekend, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Have a great day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.